Hey, what's up? This is Adam from Aerial Motion Photography, and I'm back at it again with my self-proclaimed, world-famous, best side-by-side -side drone comparison videos on all of YouTube. Wow, that was a mouthful. But basically what I'm saying is, in this video, I'm gonna be comparing two things side-by-side. -side. I'm gonna be comparing the Freewell, I just spit while I was talking. I'm gonna be comparing the Freewell polarizing filter versus no filter. And what I wanna see is if adding this extra polarizing filter, this little piece of glass over your, your, over your lens really makes a difference. So these examples are gonna be flying over water. So that's gonna really be testing out reflection and um, water, it's not just blue. When you're filming, you'll know like, I've never read the book Fifty Shades of Grey, but, um, or is it a movie? But there's like 50 million shades of blue and um, green and all that. So what I'm trying to say is that the ocean's not just blue. So if there's something like a polarizing filter that can get more and more colors out of something, I think it can only be very beneficial. And especially since these Mini 2s are putting out 4K, versus the original mini with 2.7K. That just gives you more resolution and pixels to work with. So if you can even turn those up, you can get higher quality videos. Okay, so if you're new to filters, let me just give you a little overview. Basically what they are, they're sunglasses for your drone. So right here is the Freewell All Day Pack and it comes with polarizing filters and different ND filters. And what ND filters do, they're called neutral density filters. And since you put the sunglasses on, you're able to lower your shutter speed, which gives you more cinematic video because there's motion blur and it's not just like super, 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 um, crisp. So this video is not sponsored. Um, I just like these filters. My grandma actually gave me them. So shout out Nana, thank you very much. And here you can see, so it's just a lens with a little hook and you just put it right onto the camera. And let's see, just kind of click it on just like that. And then boom, there you go. This is the polarizing filter. So my test, what I did is I flew with all different sun angles. That's really what I wanted to do. So I have cross angles straight on, from the back and I wanted to just really put this polarizing filter to the test next to um, side by side of the video without a filter. So I'm gonna start running that video right now. Okay, part one. Here we are in Shoreline Village. I wanted to start out with this clip because I think it's the most dramatic. You'll see we have the filter on the left, no filter on the right. With the no filter, you see that the water is just really blue. It, I mean, I think the new Mini puts out some good footage out of the box, but when you look at the filter side on the left, you can just see so many more colors and it just looks a lot more natural. And I really like that feel. I like the more natural feel over the more saturated feel that I feel like the Mini's putting out out of the box. Here we are at no filter coming on through. Great reflections. It was just a beautiful day out there. And let me know in the comments what you guys think about these two clips, but I really think this was one of the best examples. All right, here we are in Marine Stadium flying towards where you get to go wakeboarding and water skiing. You'll see the right side is without the filter, really similar to the example before, super blue. I feel like it has kind of like an Instagram look to it, like the saturation is there and they kind of pick the color profile for the Mini 2 to just look really good, kind of stock. But when you add a filter, like you see on the left, you can just see the water, you can see the sand through the water, and there's just so many different layers are visible, and it just looks a lot more natural. And continuing on without the filter, coming on through, Lots of different ripples and textures you can see. Such a beautiful day without any wind and just getting to fly and you can just see how steady this Mini 2 is and just how good the gimbal is.
Here we are continued without the filter flying down. It is a beautiful blue and this is one of my favorite clips showing without a filter. You can still see the shadows in the water and the different depths if you look on the left hand side. So it's not like you can't see anything without a filter. The filter just makes it more apparent and stand out. But to me this is really beautiful footage and it looks like something out of the box that you could post and it would just be great to have on your social media. This example has very harsh lighting and I really want to put these filters to the test. You'll see there's a lot of reflection in both examples. So I don't see a huge benefit over the filter side. Um, you do see the more natural colors, natural water, but the reflection is still there. As we're flying over the houses, sometimes polarizing filters can give a bluish tint. I do see a little bit of a tint towards it, um, the no filter side, maybe it looks a little bit more natural, but if you want to take your attention to the skies, you'll see there's more definition in the filter side where you can actually see a little clouds, the no filter, it's almost completely blown out. You can see that the reflection is larger on the no filter side, as you would expect, as a polarizing filter does cut down on some of the reflection. Now it's getting lesser and lesser. If you look at the filter side right then and there, I did notice almost like a reddish tint. That is something to watch out for. Since you are putting something in front of your lens, you do have a chance of the colors getting a little bit distorted. And here we are with the filter flying on in. It's a beautiful shot. I just love this place. It's one of my favorite places to fly. I know I keep saying that, but it's a beautiful place. This is a fun clip. I hope you guys don't get too dizzy with it switching back and forth, but this is gonna be an example without the side to side. So in the winter time at night, those are actually floating Christmas trees and it's really beautiful when they light them all up. And I'm really excited to get some nighttime footage as Christmas gets closer. I know a lot of back forth, back forth, but I think that it's something cool to see a version that's not split down the middle every time. For this clip, I want to just choose a spot that had the most reflection. So we have mirrors, water, everything, skyline. So let's see how this goes. I have the footage slowed down to 80%. This was very exhilarating. Um, don't worry, I'm not being super reckless. I have actually a line of sight. So it looks like I'm getting very close to that building because I was close to that building, but that was under control. And I think that was a great way to end this side-by-side -side demonstration. All right, that's gonna wrap up this side-by-side -side test. I hope you guys enjoyed watching it. One thing that I wish DJI did with this Fly More combo, like they did with the Mavic Air 2, um, they actually provided some ND filters. So I was actually kind of hoping they would do that for the Mini 2, um, but they did not. But you have a lot of options aftermarket, a lot of good brands. And yeah, so if you enjoyed this video, if you found it entertaining or educational or a combination of both, give it a big thumbs up. That means a lot to me. I've been gaining a lot of more like support and followers and I love it and I love reading your guys' comments. So if you want to see more mini videos, I have a lot more in the pipeline. That's a, that's a saying, right? Down the pipeline. 
basically I have some videos that are gonna be coming up so if you want to see more mini videos be sure to subscribe and then check those notifications so you'll be notified when I upload my new videos as always my name is Adam fly safe take care peace